Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's your boy Shocking once again, and today we're going to talk about uh, the importance of trend lines in the strategy that I'm currently teaching you for the Master FX course. I want you to remember that um, the trend lines are an effective strategy that was introduced to all beginners in their lifetime. You know, somewhere in their lifetime as a trader, you were introduced to trend lines. And yes, they're still effective, but we're going to use them in a way that you will never again miss a trade okay so here we go remember that we're going to use the trend lines first of all we're going to use the trend lines to continue following the trend and then secondly we're going to use the trend lines to spot breakouts and retests of the zone or structure now at the end of this course videos we are going to combine all the setups or all the different uh points we are gathering along the way to conduct one simple uh, technical analysis so at this current point in time i want you to know that this is an example of uh let me just draw a an ascending structure market structure so <coughs> a bullish ascending market structure is created by consecutive okay By consecutive moves to the upside breaking the structure on the upside and not breaking structure below okay so by this I mean that price is consecutively moving up breaking the highs that that price creates okay so this is it this was broken by the move right here and then this was also broken okay and then that was also broken so this is a valid uptrend okay this is a valid uptrend now our main focus on a valid uptrend is for price okay is for price to keep on bouncing on our respective trend line all right this is it so remember that for as long as we have these points on our trend line okay respecting the trend line we have a valid bullish move to the upside i want you guys to remember this okay so this is for an uptrend and then we have for a downtrend but before we finish i want you guys to remember that what we are looking for in these scenarios is Okay, let me just clone this line. Is to have an ascending channel, all right? Because with having an ascending channel, we are then able, okay, we are then able to say that for as long as price is respectively testing the top side of the channel, it's diagonal resistance, and then this is diagonal support. I spoke about it, so this is okay okay so that's diagonal support and then above here we have diagonal resistance okay so for as long as we have price tapping the top region of our ascending channel we are on a very 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 healthy uptrend okay and this is good for our strategy because every time price comes back to test the bottom line of our channel which is the diagonal support line we will then have an opportunity to continue buying now if you look at this chart some would say they have uh six trading opportunities so buy here buy here and then buy here that's three and then at the top they would sell here sell here and then sell here so that's a total of six trading opportunities but in order for you not to blow your account easily it is recommended that you only buy on an uptrend don't bother selling because there'll be at, at times price will be negligent and it will it will not obey the structure to the upside if there's too much bullish pressure and then just break above the channel 
and continue to go upwards. So in these scenarios, you want to make sure that you wait for price to respect your diagonal support line and continue to buy upwards because if price certainly breaks okay if price happens to break below any of your uh, levels at the bottom i want you to know that then your trend line is invalidated and we are shifting okay we are waiting for like a shift order flow which is when price is currently uh, looking to change the direction of the market for that specific pair the direction and when that happens we will then be looking to see price changing from an uptrend or switching from an uptrend to a downtrend and that obviously will ruin your plans if you are a long-term uh, holder of the buy position so if you if you see that price is doing this now breaks the structure and then goes back to retest and continues it will now start creating bearish market structure and when this happens what we would be looking for is to mark the same thing but then from the top to the bottom and then we will then have what we call a downtrend here okay we will then have a downtrend here let me just uh draw it properly so we will then have downtrend here because we will be having a bearish confirmations because price is not breaking the previous lower highs. Okay, so price is not going up to break the previous lower highs. This means that for as long as price is then breaking structure at the bottom side of the of your diagonal resistance okay so when we are on uptrend we expect price to respect diagonal resistance but when we are on a down support i mean when we are on a downtrend we expect price to respect diagonal resistance when we are on an uptrend we expect price to respect diagonal support so here is at the top and here we expect price to respect at the bottom so currently you see that price has been respecting the top in this section here which means that every time price touches the line it comes down and breaks support and then continues to drop this is the way you can remember that uh, forex will be simplified for you you can make this your simplified strategy to make money in forex let me just close this now the other thing i want you guys to remember is uh once that is set and done or if you continue to see these consecutive moves on consecutive why am i saying that yeah when you continue to see these consecutive moves uh you then have to copy your trend line and then just duplicate it so basically duplicate your trend line and expect to see something like that so obviously on the charts it's not going to look as perfect as here some touches will touch the region others will not they'll be close but we will use the ones that count and i will explain in the videos that follow so this is uh, my trend line the importance of trend lines in the strategy that we're trying to form and create so if you watch this series of videos at the end of the series you will then see a major uh, uh, setup of the entire strategy and what it is composed of in order for you to have successful uh, results or trades okay so basically on a normal on a normal uh, trend what we would look at it would be something like this so in this case we can say that this is going to be my trend line starting from the bottom here going all the way sorry going all the way up okay so this is my trend line now what you can see is price okay let me just use the path tool price went up came down to our trend line went up came down to our trend line went up came as close as possible to our trend line went up and then broke and went all the way down now it's going back and possibly going to retest the area and drop now this doesn't always happen it doesn't always happen that price 
retest and then drops because if it's strong enough it can just break above like i said and i'll explain this in another video but for now this is exactly what's in play and if you see carefully you'll then realize that price has a few touches which were consecutive on the diagonal support and then here we have a touch which didn't really reach but was in an area of interest and i'll show you guys at the end of the strategy how to to set up this for yourselves and if you take this and then just clone it which is basically duplicating the line you move it upwards you will then realize that you have price always breaking okay you always have price breaking the structures to the upside okay you have price breaking the structures to the upside so price is breaking structures consecutively okay to the upside it's not breaking down so when one once you have price all of a sudden okay all of a sudden breaking structure at the bottom you then have what we call a shift okay we have a shift in the direction or in the trend now once we have a shift in the trend you don't yet have a confirmation of setting like okay so people who sold here and held their positions were now are now at break even okay because price went back to their entry position so they are on entry position and now they are worried because they don't know if price will continue to go up or come down so this is not the perfect entry position for sales. This is also not a perfect entry position for, for sales. The perfect entry position for sales will be determined by whatever happens here today. So whatever ha happens here today will be a clear confirmation um, for a sale opportunity, all right? So this is just for this example. Let me just erase this. In fact, let me erase everything because uh, otherwise I'm going to ruin my... Okay, let me just leave it. It's okay. So this is it, all right? Guys, I hope that this video is going to be helpful enough for you guys to completely understand that Forex can be simplified. It doesn't have to be complicated. As complicated as we make it to be, okay? Yes, you may use smart money concepts. You may use ICT trading. Uh, strategy you may use support and resistances supply and demand whatever strategy you want to use but this way will get you consistent results no matter which other strategy you know okay if you reset your brain to memorize this you're gonna make money without losing a lot of time because look basically on this uh, ascending trend you had one two, three major opportunities and they gave massive peeps, okay? Massive profits. If you were simply going to follow the rules and hold on to your take profit targets, which were basically the previous uh, highs created, you would have made enough money to stay away from the selling opportunities at the top, which didn't even make it there. So you, you see on an uptrend, you can see that some of the, the selling opportunities are not even valid because price did not reach the region this one was a bit more this was more or less it this was also more or less okay and this was very far from the from the the, the area we never sell at the 50 percent line of our uh ascending channel so i want you guys to remember that this is the best way for you to spot very good trading opportunities and i want you to stay tuned for more like and subscribe to the channel if you are looking for any uh, if you are looking to do any intensive one-on-one -on -one courses you can contact me on the number that is uh, at the beginning of this video when on the preview and if you wish to do capital management with me in the future you can also contact me there thank you very much like and subscribe and see you